Hello everyone, so today we are going to be making a jewellery holder. First you need to have your sketches ready, your sketch idea, your engineering sketch. This is my base, which is this part. And then this is the height of everything. And this is the ring holder from the top view, which is this one here. And then you want to go into Fusion. Right click on the main menu, select new component, and name it base, and then press OK. Then save it and save your file as jewelry holder. So, first, we're going to be making the base, which is right here. So, have that in front of you. Then you want to go to create sketch, select the bottom plane, if you look here, the horizontal one right here. So you see top view like that, and then select this face. And then select the two point rectangle, then select the origin, drag it to the right, and make it 70 by 120. Then enter. Next up, we're going to be drawing this square right here, these squares, and these circles. So the first one is 10.3 by 10.3. So go to two point rectangle, select that point, and drag it out. Make it 10.3 by 10.3. Clean up. And then you want to use this tool called Sketch Dimension. Select the top line and then select the top line of our base. Drag it out and make this one 20 millimeters. And then you want to do the same for the side line. So the left line of our square here and the left line of our rectangle. Put it there and make this one 30. And now we want to draw the squares down the side here. So place your square anywhere around here. It doesn't matter. And make it five millimeters by five millimeters. And then we want to use sketch dimension again. So top line with top line. And that is 10 millimeters. Side line with side line. And this is going to be eight millimeters. Once you have that, you want to go to create, select rectangular pattern, select the four lines that you just made, then select the vertical arrow, and then drag it down until it says 30, like this. And then press OK. And now you have three rectangles, I mean square. And next up, we need to do the circle. So it's going to be 21. And the second one is going to be 25. And if we look at our sketch, the center point of the circle is 20 millimeters away from the corner here. So sketch dimension. Center point of the circle, end line, 20 millimeters. Center point of the circle, end line, 20 millimeters. And then go to rectangular pattern again, inner circle, outer circle, and drag it out until it says 60. Then press OK. Once you've done that, click on finish sketch and then rotate, go to extrude. This will allow you to turn this sketch into a 3D shape and then drag it up. So if we go to our sketch, we know that this is 10 millimeters tall. So make this 10 right there, then press OK. 
and then go to our base. So our drop down menu over here, open it up, open sketches up and make sketch one visible. And then go back to extrude, select the outer circle, all of them, drag it up. And if we check our drawing, they are 10 millimeters tall. So the 10 at the bottom here and the 10 at the top, that'll give you 20 and then press enter. And go to extrude again. Now you want the inner circle and make them 10 millimeters tall. And that is our base done.